All right, we're playing some Xerath mid on my main account, but we're not we ain't playing in ranked. I just tried to record a challenger game and we won, but I got zero kills, so. It take me forever to get a a high low pop off Xerath game in this assassin meta. The good news is we're staying in Challenger for another couple days. Oh, why did I walk up to a Yasuo? Jeez. Ouch, he hurts. At least I hit him back. Damn, that hit me. Gonna use our potion and get our absolute focus back up. It'd be cool if Xerath got like a little shield, like Yasuo does. Like, what if he had Yasuo's shield, but it was like a spell shield? That'd be a cool little buff for him. It wouldn't be game changing either because Xerath's still really weak if you get on him. Or you know what? It probably wouldn't even need to be a spell shield. It could be like a. A physical shield, because that's how the old Xerath was. He got armor. But I think we will get a buff when the new skin comes out, right before the new skin comes out. Maybe not. We don't get love from Riot. Yasuo lane, you just gotta play it nice and slow. You wanna let him push you in. If you push out, he's gonna all in you like you saw early game. He just dashed right at me and all in me. And he'll win those trades. I'm getting a gank though, so I could bait something. I don't think we kill him here though. We can uh, get a lot of his health though. Almost. Things here. This shield's about to pop, or else I'd try and kill him. I have to be wary of this bot bush. Their jungler is over there. Oh, I missed a cannon because he tried to go in. Shield's down, wall's down. here. You ain't touching me, jungler. He's gonna go blue form too, which is not good for me. Oh. Eh. I thought that stun would hit him, but I guess he was on top of me. He flashed. Oh, that's Katarina. I thought that was Olaf for some reason. He's dead. He has no flash. Good roam. I think he's dead. Oh, wow. He's not. Jump to me. I'm so close to six, I could kill him if I stay. Thing is, I can't go near the creeps when he's around, or he'll dash through all of them. Oh, I'm dead here. I don't know why I stayed so close. <laughs> Wait. Holy shit, we got so lucky there. I think he missed the NATO one, that's why. Yeah, missed another cannon because my Q cooldown. But hey, we got a kill and we're up in CS, so that's good. Rip, my farm is really bad today. Okay, 
Well, the good thing is we have a lead versus Yasuo now. So it should be a lot easier next time we come back to lane. This and this. We have no potion, so we want to stay back. We have the mana to stay back, though. Don't play Zoe. I don't like Zoe for some reason. I hated her ever since she came out just because playing against her, like, she's so unfun. But I tried playing her and it just feels weird because. I don't know. She's only really good at, like, killing one person. And then you have to, like, back up. Unless you're, like, extremely fed and there. Or there's a bunch of summoners on the ground. I don't know. I could try and learn her since. She's in that state where she's not going to keep getting nerfed like she did when she first came out. But yeah, she's a really strong pick. It's just weird. You have to wait till after he dashes to throw your ability. not low enough to ult. He has boots also. Ooh, jungler is giving me blue. That'll be nice. Love for Zerat start. Well, I used to be a Cassio and Vel'Koz main. And people would always call me Scripter and Cassio, and the other scripting champion was Zareth, so I tried to learn him. And I just liked him a lot. I was able to, like, 1v9 with him all the time. And from playing Vel'Koz first, he was pretty easy to pick up. Vel'Koz is, like, an easier version of Zareth. Oh! Panic Wall. I can, uh, ult him here. Damn, I thought that would hit. Ooh, that was so close, too. But the, another reason why I haven't tried to pick up Zoe is because... She does have a learning curve to her, which I know is there. Like, all the wall hops, the bubbles and stuff. It just seems like a pain in the ass to learn. But once you get it down, I feel like she's or like a broken champ. Mid lane heal, Blades Pike. Um, It was really popular last month, but it's been nerfed a couple times. I think it's still good. It's just not something you can keep blind picking. But I mean, Pike is one of the new champs. And... He'll just make the game a coin flip, because you can just roam and pop off. Yasuo's top. That means we play shove mid lane. Make him come back. I don't have ult. I can go ward, though. He's still far up there. Actually, Kane has Mobies. I'm going to put my ward here. I don't think they're on the Herald. They could be, though, since he went for the Dragon first. Maybe I can get this. Nah. Shut down. He on it? Crap. The Blades buff is coming this patch? I thought it was already out. Guess not. That's coming out with the jungle buffs and stuff, right? Which is either tomorrow or tonight. I don't know. What's the buff on it, though? Do you get, like, an extra auto now or something? Is it a big change or just a tiny change? I don't know where Malphite is. If he alts me... 
gonna have to burn both my summoners if I get hit by it. But I have a ward down, so he'd have to come through bot side, which is weird for a Malphite. Since he's a top lane. I guess I'll go for this. Did they buffer chain for Zareth? I really don't know. I'm just gonna let them figure it out. It's not like they'll listen to my opinion either way. I don't want to be one of those champion mains because, like, I know a lot of the other one tricks. Like, they all complain that their champion's so weak and they need buff, 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 buff. And they get those buffs, too, because they complain so much. But, like... The thing is, when they get those buffs, sometimes their champion becomes really broken, and then they just get a nerf right after, and their champion's in even a worse spot, so they just kind of fuck themselves by trying for a buff so much. Okay, let's recall. We got Ludens. I can't get the boots. I mean, I could, but... FAQ? Nah. I mean, it's just like Twitch chat. People are gonna ask the same shit every day, all day. It's not as bad on here, though. Oh. Bro, has Shinshin -shin complained enough that they created another fucking rune for him? Like, holy shit. Like, Conquer wouldn't exist if he didn't complain so much. So Riot does listen. I think I was on a ward where you just saw it coming. I could get the Jinx with my ult. Ah, uh, the ward died. And there's a cane above me. Does this one shot the wave? Kind of. Oh, Yasuo's such an obnoxious champion. Ten fucking dashes. Oh. He's the only- one of the only champs in the game that hits, like, the fucking 20 death power spike. Good shit. Like, look at the KDAs of any Yasuo main. It's always negative. Zareth's, like, the polar opposite. Zareth mains tend to have really high KDAs. Because if you die on this champion, like... Zareth gets punished a hundred times harder than a Yasuo would for dying. If a Yasuo dies, they're like, okay, doesn't matter, just walk back to lane. If Zareth dies like two times, his lane's fucking over. That's why I play so safe. It took people a long time to realize that I play like this because if I do play aggressive and die, I get throw the game. At the end of the day, I think League of Legends is in a really great spot right now. I think the game's growing again. I think everything's going well. They're going to do minor tweaks to the dragons and whatnot. But, I'm, like, last season wasn't that fun. This season is a lot more fun. Like, I'm, I'm two levels on this guy, just from sitting in lane and farming. Kill secured. I, I kind of want to flash for it. Uh, uh, 
my ping spiked. So it's at 21. Usually it's at 20. So I missed that one. I'm just playing. <laughs> I just wanted to go for something. Wow, dude. I feel like I missed every single can in this game. Um, I don't know if he has ult still or not. There's no minions, so we're gonna recall. Elder Dragon buff is a fucking joke. Yeah, Elder Dragon is a little overtuned, but the thing is, like, they made it so, like, if you give all the dragons, you deserve to lose. That's kind of, like, what they made the game. Like, they that's why dragons are important. It hits you all at once now, instead of, like, you slowly lose, like, oh, they got two fire dragons, now they got three, okay, now we're fucked, because they got three fire dragons, you know? Three fire dragons now doesn't mean shit. But Elder, Elder means everything. There's three cannons in a row. Awesome. Hello, Recat. You want to go outside after this game, okay? What you can do with Yasuo's is you can throw out your stun before he even dashes. Because a lot of the time they're just going to dash right in the minion wave straight at you. So they could dash into the stun and they won't wall it. I'm a little off with my abilities. Might be because I'm slightly intoxicated, I don't know. I didn't get an assist on the cane, but I did on the Yasuo, but I missed everything. Okay. Just fucking take the cannon minion from me, team. I can't do it. How do you decide to go for poke versus going for CS? That's a difficult thing I learned when I was coaching my girlfriend. Like, it's, it's something you learn over time and playing a lot, but it has to do a lot with wave management. If the wave's in a good spot, if you know you can push it quick, um, if your mana's in the correct spot, if the enemy laner is stronger than you, weaker than you, it's just something you get from playing a lot, but... Oh, I shouldn't have base. We'll just get boots. Unlucky today. It's not luck, I'm just playing like shit. But I don't care, we won our... We won our challenger game. If I lost the game, I would have to play like 10 more games to try and get my challenger back. But we got carried in one, so my knight is a lot better. Like, it, it's so easy to stay in challenger once you get it, but getting up to challenger is a pain in the ass. Because, like, I'm just playing one game a day to stay in challenger, and I keep winning those one game a day. So I'm climbing. But slowly. I could ult him. He's just gonna dash to the minions, though. Hey, we got one. Wow, this game's tied. It feels like we're so far ahead of them. Any chance where you feel like it's better to go for poke over CS? Um, it depends on how much sustain they have. Ever since, like, the last two seasons, the meta has just been fucking flask and biscuits, so you can never really... You can never really go straight for poke, because everyone has so much sustain nowadays. And even if they don't have the flasking biscuits, every champion has, like, sustain in their kit, too.
Wait, is that Phantom Dancer? I knew he'd dash back into the Olaf. The tanky boy. This Jinx doesn't know how strong I am yet. Okay. I would have gotten all my ulted, I think, if I got to play that. Ooh, okay, we got him. That's worth. Uh, he's looking at me. Yeah, Xerath requires a lot of patience. That's why I say he's like the polar opposite of like Katarina and Yasuo. You just go in with those champs. You don't play safe. You go in. Malphite has magic resist, so I can't really pop him. Okay, well, here comes the stage of the game where I'm going to start popping off and getting a lot more kills unless I get, like, Malphite ulted. They're going to... You see, I'm the only one with a turret left. This turret is at full health at 23 minutes in. No turret up here. No turret here. You already know they're going to come in and try and get this turret. But the thing is, I'm playing tower defense. And they're not getting this turret as long as I'm alive. And I'll be able to kill them. The thing I like about Zareth is if there's five people mid, I can still kill someone while their whole team is next to them. That's why I love Zareth. And I won't die in the process. That's, that's my favorite thing about Zareth. I shouldn't have based there. I should have cleared another wave. If they keep pushing mid, they could get my turret if they have good coordination and just shove it. But I bought a Magi so I get more move speed so I can get back there quick. If anything, they get a couple of autos on it, which is fine. Oh, none. Hey! Dragon, we need this one. They have two of them. I think we get this, we're all here. We gotta go quick though, because they're on their way. Oh, I stunned him. Nice. He could have stole it if I didn't stun him there. Uh oh. Put him in a cat. I didn't think that would hit. I was like slightly out of range. But since it went through the wall. It goes a little bit further than the indicator. Okay, we're going to start building towards the void staff. Even though they don't have that much MR, they will eventually. And it's always nice to have the void staff for when they do. And I've noticed even when they don't have MR, the void staff hits like a truck anyway. Because it still reduces their base MR. I don't know. I just feel like Void Staff versus Obliv Oblivion Orb, the Void Staff always hits harder. Except for like, except for if you first game, first item of the Void Staff. I want this crab, but okay, never mind. My farm's pretty good, even though I miss so much. It's because I never left mid lane the whole game. I don't know. 
The enemy team knows who I am. So maybe they watch my videos and know not to come mid because I'll fucking mow their whole team down. I didn't know she was gonna live there. I should have not missed that first one. That was my bad. Oh, that minion. The only one I'm really scared of is Malphite. Holy shit. Oh, he didn't go, uh... Wow, I hit him there. I didn't think that would kill him. Thought he'd use his Q. Um, if Malphite hits his army, I get Yasuo ulted. And I'm not in a good spot then. Another blue buff? I'm so spoiled. I love playing with my viewers. No other champ can out damage there. No, they can. It's just no other champ can do as much damage with all this range. Ziggs can, but it, it's a, like Zareth is way more reliable than Ziggs. Ziggs bombs can jump over people. His ult takes forever to hit the ground. But the problem with Zareth is he's 99.9% .9 magic damage. You don't do any physical damage on this champion. Cannons were long lived. I keep missing the first one, and the second one, and the third one, and the fourth one, but not the fifth one. I gotta clear another wave. Oh, not with you around, buddy. Where's your Malphite? There he is, see? If I would've walked up to him, I would've got baited. They wanna go in, but he's, he's really low already. She got him. Oh, Olaf was right next to him. I didn't even realize that. That's Sono off, though. And there, hunting his ass down. Oh, Velkaz. Velkaz, I love playing Velkaz. He's like a better Zareth into tanks because the true damage, you can't build. Holy shit. You can't build, um. You can't build MR versus Valkaz, really. I mean, you can, but, like, he's gonna do a lot of true damage. There we go. I could kill a Lux in two spells, most likely. Don't think you outdamaged Nico. Well, Nico has to get so close. I don't even think Nico does that much damage unless you're like turbo fed. Ooh, that's a center, uh, center W. Can't really ult if they're full health. I don't think my stun hit. Not bad. We get the fire dragon, more damage for me. They can't steal it, they're all dead. But look at all this gold I have to spend. Void Staff, Oblivion Orb, now we just one-shot anyone we touch. Tuber? I mean, I kind of want to upload this. I didn't play amazing, but I feel like I talked a lot and explained a lot of things that people will ask or wonder what I think about. But who knows? I don't really have I don't have a video for tomorrow, so I'll I'll save this, and if I don't get anything, then you know why this is uploaded. It's my main, but we're j I'm playing with viewers. If you guys watch me on Facebook, I play viewer games a lot. Fucking god, the cannon. But if you want to play with me, I often ask people to join my games. Just for fun. And who knows, you could be in a video. Oh, I get this, watch. 1,000, 1,100 damage, pretty much. <laughs> I blocked it for him, don't worry. 
Okay. ADC. Gets killed in two hits. Where is he going? We have an insane scaling team, though. Sona and Zareth scale. And Olaf's pretty darn good if he goes tank. We have the front line and we have the back line. So we're just outscaling them at this point. Because they're they're not getting their wombo combos. They need to get the Malphite ults on us. Dude, okay, this is cursed. I can't get the cannon minions. Look at this. I have 300 farm at 30 minutes, but I still haven't even gotten like one cannon minion the whole game. Oh, I hit that Baron hard. Let's go grab a blue potion. I could finish the Morellos, but I actually, I think the blue potion, it does more damage than upgrading the Morellos. Because when you upgrade the Morellos, it gives you, let's see, it gives you 50 ability power, but it doesn't give you the bonus 25 true damage in the mana regen. So this is much better. Because I don't need healing reduction. They have like no healing. Single cannon. I got a couple cannons. Elder and Silver Tuber, if we make it to it. Takes three alt shots to kill Jinx. Okay, never mind. Two if she didn't heal and shield. Where are you walking? There we go. <laughs> I was trying to predict her juking, but. If you run in a straight line, it takes me like two or three shots to adjust to that. But the good news is once you're level 16, you get five shots. And most people don't even know you can shoot five times. But yeah, they've never... They've never really engaged with the Malphite, so that's why they're losing these fights. Their jungler is also 0 and 8, so... That also has something to do with it. So satisfying when you're this fed and you just one-shot the wave. We can only buy Morellos if we base it's just 50 AP increase. We can maybe end the game here if we win another fight. Look at that damage. Do I have Gathering or Scorch? Scorch. Oh my god. That stun did so much damage too. My stun probably does more damage than her ult. For sure. Let's go by. Uh, did they surrender? being Katarina. Oh, no one challenge. This is not challenger. This is probably like platinum at the most. I can look for you. Okay, it's a mix of silver, silver, gold, and platinum. And then there's just a challenger in the game. I wonder who that is. The thing is, the games, the games are boring in challenger. The majority of games are boring in challenger. Like I can get the pop-offs, but it, I can't get them like with the snap of my finger. It's really hard. This is my favorite part, though. Late game, ADCs and supports just get deleted by your ult. Why do I always miss... Holy shit. Why do I always miss the first one on him? Oh, I have the Infernal Soul. I could kill her in two shots. I had to hit the second one, though. Infernal Soul is so broken on Xerath. See, like, we only had, like, two kills early game or something, but 
Once we hit like our 15, 20 minute power spikes, we don't die and we just kill everyone. I don't think we've been Malphite ulted once the whole game. Predicted. Alright, let's go in base. Do one. I'm gonna get ulted. Nope, guess it wasn't out. Alright, cool. Um, if this is on YouTube, go down, leave me a comment, tell me if you like this kind of video or not. Me talking a lot. I usually don't talk this much, but uh, also like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Subscribe to my other channel. Everything's down in the description. Let us honor Olaf, the good jungler, and let's check out the runes and damage. I got 200 tokens, Pog. We did 46k damage, and Comet did 2.8k, Scorch getting 1k. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Have a good one.